They're about to meet Adam Silver, Ja Morant, to see just how serious Ja has taken the suspension and his return to the court. But on a scale of 1 to 10, J. King, how real is it that Ja will return, turn around the Grizzlies, who are currently 6 and 15 and 13th in the West? This is a 4 out of 10. Four out of ten. They they are not going to be a great team this year. They just lost too much talent. Their roster is not good enough. However, they're up to quietly up to twelfth in defense. Their problem has been that they just cannot score at all. Ja's going to fix some of that. He's going to allow them to get out in transition. They they've been a a kind of slow team. He's a one man fast break. He's going to help everybody get easier buckets. He's going to bring back some of their offensive rebounding because of the way that he gets into the paint, that he breaks down a defense, that he opens up the avenues for guys to get back on the glass. So they're not going to be a great team, but he's Mm -hmm. going to make them – he's going to lift that offense to to the place where it's at least respectable, and I think their defense will be good enough that they'll be okay. Josh, how real is this on a scale of 1 to (laughs) 10? I gave this a 4, too. Kind of the same reason. Like the pace is going to go up. Obviously, mm-hmm. Jaw, like like Jay said, one man fast break. He's going to put pressure on the rim, which is going to open up three point opportunities. They've got decent three point shooters. A couple guys that can sure that can knock them down. Right, defensively they're good, but Jaw isn't going to be the guy that they bring in that's going to like make their defense just take leaps and bounds forward or anything like that. But I I, I can't see him moving up more than maybe one or two spots because the what like the the West is just loaded and there's nobody. There's only a couple teams ahead of them that maybe they leapfrog, but I don't see mm-hmm. them make it like getting so good that all of a sudden they're in the mix for the I mean, playoffs. Agree. The hole's too big at this point. They're not gonna exactly. be able to yeah. take those uh, out of it in that West. No. And they're not I good enough. They're not oh. that far behind. But who do they leapfrog? Who do they so they've got one or two positions to maybe move. I mean the, they'll pass the Jazz. I mean they could pass right. the Warriors. They're not like they're three maybe. and a half games behind the Warriors. Well, we'll get to this Warriors team. Like, but after that, that, where do they go? I don't. The Pelicans are they? I mean, we're gonna are we gonna expect the Pelicans to be healthy? Like they're never healthy. So you're expecting the Pelicans to be healthy? You know, Clippers maybe turned it around. Rockets still have a bunch of road games. You know, although they, congrats to them getting that that road win in Denver. That's a tough first road win of the season. I just think like I'm gonna put this at an eight. I think. Wow. They get into the playing tournament. Am I saying that just because you guys went against it? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just good podcasting. Who knows? Maybe I don't believe it. But I'm going to put it at an eight. I do think, like, he solves so many of their issues. Like, you guys mentioned it. Their offense sucks. Yeah. Like, their offense just flat out yeah. sucks. It's just and he too. is. They have nobody who can just break you down. I think. Nope. And I think, you know, it's been a while since we've seen Ja play. But that dude's fucking good. Like he's re- he's really dynamic and really good, and before they could win without him, but now that they don't have that same structure, they need him on the court. Now, I also, if you ask me, how real is it that he's going to get suspended again? I'd put that at an eight as well. Like I'm not I'm not convinced that he has learned his learned his lesson here. Um, but that, well, there's also like the what about the idea that like he just leans into this more and does like does more of this stuff that gets him suspended because like he he probably has enough money for the rest of his life right like he sells all that nike money his shoe just came out what if he just really wants to lean into this what if he goes tupac you know in the sense of just like not really that guy but decides to like have that persona you never know if you I wouldn't advise cred, that to him to get I suspended know. out of, out of the. <laughs> I'm not saying he should. I no, I'm not advising that either. Sorry, I got to do the Sandler voice if I'm doing a bit. <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, I like if he if he wants like street cred and all this to get suspended out of the league because he wanted to to do this stuff and you got the money to do it. You know, maybe that's where he starts his own now. league. <laughs> yeah, or joins overtime elite or some bullshit. Like, who knows what Big those three. rules are. Yeah, joins the big three. Just hit a big, big baby out there three. just wrecking. <laughs> Would he even be good in the big three? Are you kidding me? 
Do you think he? But it's the half court. It's all half court. It's all in the half court. He's, he made. That's a good point. It's it's all in the half year court. Old I mean, obviously, it would be incredible with the big three. 50, they had but Mo I don't Evans, think it's the league for him. Mo Evans dominating the league the first three years. I just. <laughs> This is an interesting. I'm tangent. just not sure he could keep up with like Mike Beasley or whoever's in the big three in the half court. Royce White. I'm gonna yeah. slap you in the mouth. <laughs> I should have used my Adam Sandler voice. <laughs>